Hi crafty friends, it's Sylvia. How's everyone doing today? So today I figured we do a kidding up. Uh, I'm working on Lady Creole by Mandy Manzano. So we're going to write down the starting date. Today is February 1st. Okay, 2023. And this one is, um, it's a round and it's 12.6 inches by 18.1 inches. And uh, it's a 32 centimeter by 46 centimeter. It's actually a small one, guys, but it has 34 colors. And the last one that I just did was Talisman, and that was a medium size, and that actually had 34 colors. So that tells me that this painting, for the size, it has a lot of colors. And so maybe, maybe there's a lot of confetti. I don't know, we'll see, okay. So let's put this aside. Actually, we're going to need the, the stickers. And so I have already set up the colors, the drills. So we're going to use the Bella Art de Nicole trays that I love. We have a small, and I think this is considered a large. Okay. And of course, the Elizabeth Warden. This is where I'm going to use. I use them loud for the talisman, and I actually love them. So we're going to try that again. Um, oops, this is falling. And I got my bottle of water. Excuse my stuffy nose. I don't know what's going on. Um, I don't know if I have just sinus issues right now, but I can't breathe that well. Anyway, that's the story of my life here in Texas. I always have uh, allergies. Okay, so I'm working on Lady Creole for Black History Month, and it's hosted by Samantha. Uh, she has a YouTube um, channel called Blunts and Gems. So she's hosting this um, uh, event and it's hashtag DP for Black History Month and I will put it in the description box, okay? So go check her out. Anyway, so let's start with the first one and the first one is gonna be an AB. So hopefully I won't do what I did last time. You remember what I did with the Kidding Up last time with Talisman? I was talking too much and I sort of mixed colors. So hopefully I won't do that, but it happens sometimes guys. All right, so the first one is 130. And 130 is an AB, a yellow AB. So how's everyone doing? Well, let's see, here in Texas, guys, right now, the temperature is 29 degrees. Can you imagine, 29 degrees, that's cold. And um, we've ha been having this uh, cold front, I think since, Tuesday, I'll shake it a little bit. I think since Tuesday, let me move some of these out of here because we're gonna need the space. Uh, yeah, since Tuesday and today is, what's today? I have no idea what day, today's Thursday? No, today's Wednesday. I don't know, today's Wednesday or Thursday. One of these, that's what happens when you're home or every day, you forget the days, they all start blending. But anyway, um. So yeah, so it's been very cold and very icy. We've had freezing rain. So what happens here in Texas, guys, we don't really get snow. And we do. if we get snow, it's just like snow flurries. But we basically get, when the temperatures drop, we get freezing rain. So we, were, we had freezing rain on Tuesday, I believe Monday night it started, Tuesday. And I think this is gonna be around for a while. Probably I think, I think till tomorrow, because I think the temperature Tomorrow will be high um, 35, which is above freezing. Right now, guys, we're stuck basically in the house. It was so funny because I look out uh, out the front door and I'm like, hmm, should I go check the mailbox? And I'm like, no, it's too, too icy out there. But my husband, <coughs> he tried and he started skating. And I'm like, no, forget it. We can wait until tomorrow. There's no rush on the mail. I don't even think there's mail, I'll to tell you the truth, because it, when I tell you everything, it stands still. So, but my daughter, unfortunately, had to go to work. She actually had to work on Tuesday and that ice. I don't know how, but but they, she did go home early. So, probably no customers. All right, so oh, wait a minute. So we have two bags of 310, so I need a bigger one, not this one. So let's use this size, because this size actually fits two, I think, yeah. Let's put, that, put it here. Okay, this is 310. Yeah, and so I haven't been outside. 
Time to get on my car and drive. And, uh, oh, you know what? I was wrong. I think I needed the bigger one. Eh, let's try it. If not, then we'll move it to another bigger one. All right, let's see. I don't know. We'll try. We will try. Why not, guys? Let's see. Oops. One try and escape. In you go. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's too full. Yeah. Let's move it to the bigger one, which would be this one. That's what I love about these guys. It's in different sizes. I love these. Okay, now let's see. I'm going to have to try to peel without ripping it. I did that last time and I ripped it a little bit, but then I just put a little tape on it. Just very slow. There you go. Ha ha. So. Yeah, so you're going to make sure here in Texas when they say that the weather's going to be bad. There goes the phone. Um, you have to go to the supermarket and get, you know, bread, milk. Make sure that you have all those things that you're going to need daily. Okay, so that's number three. I'll trash this. Move the garbage a little closer to me. <coughs> oh, and I do have a little cloth too. All right, it was so bad last night, guys. I was. Can you imagine you fall asleep and you start snoring so loud that you actually wake yourself up? Yeah, that was me last night. Cause I'm all stuffed up, and uh, so I woke up around. I think it was like six o'clock in the morning. And I look at the clock and my husband's not in bed with me. I'm like, what the hey? Where is he? And of course, he was on the couch. So I spoke to him this morning and I said, I'm sorry, I was snoring so loud. I was snoring so loud, guys, that I actually I was waking up myself. So that's how loud it was. Yeah. So he had to actually go to sleep on the couch. Because I didn't let him sleep. Alright, the next one is 550, and that's a small one too. And this is a purple one. And of course, um, that's why people say, oh, people in Texas, they don't know how to drive. Well, that's because a lot of people here from Texas, um, you can't really drive on ice, guys. It's hard. So, it doesn't matter, you know, where you, I mean, we're from New York originally, and you can't drive, you can't drive. And then the other thing is that they don't, they don't, um, in the neighborhood, they don't um, spread salt you know that salt rock whatever they put on the uh, when it when there's ice so the ice can melt they don't do that in the neighborhood so you can't basically step out you can't drive the whole neighborhood is ice right literally ice guys so yeah so hopefully things will get better tomorrow okay and what's the next one the next one is 644 and it's just one bag so we could use a small one and I'm so happy that I finished Talisman. It was so much fun working on that one. I actually have to, I already bought the frame. So I believe it's a 22 by 28. And I just need to, you know, put it together. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it or if I'm going to take it to Hobby Lobby so they can put it together for me. But I already have the frame. And guys, I got the frame. Get this. So my friend Debbie told me about this. So she said, just go to Joann's and they usually have half price, the frames, right? The next one is $6.99. And, um, and so that's what I did. I looked for the 22, 28. It's just a black regular frame. And it was, I believe, $29.99, $30. And um, of course, with the half price, I got it for $15. So I'm so happy. Yeah. And what's the one over there? That's $6.99. I'm gonna have to take some of these out. Make room, guys. Make room. And what else? Um, yeah, so I'm gonna be like I mentioned before, I'm working on Lady Creole. Very excited about that. 720. And if you have Lady Creole, please join me. Join me and my friend. My friend is hilarious. She's actually done Lady Creole, I think, twice. And uh, she's like, I love it so much that I'll do it again. 
Sorry, that's my phone. It's not my daughter. Um, yeah, so she's gonna. We're gonna work on it together. It is so much fun, guys. If you if you work on a painting with a friend, I don't know. It sort of motivates you to do it, you know. Okay, that one goes in there. If they don't want to come out, I just put them in there, and it's easier. Put those in there. Okay. Oop, another one escaped. Oop, this one does not want to go in there. Okay, that's good. And okay, so my last one. Oh, and by the way, if I do finish Lady Creole, because Lady Creole is not that big, it's small. If I finish her, I'm actually going to work on another painting. That's going to be my goal in February, but it's going to be a Valentine one. It's going to be the um, the one that I did the unboxing, oh, the dragling, a dragling, a dragonling Valentine. Yes, that's the one. So I might be working on that one. If I finish Lady Creole, we will see. Because you know, guys, that I'm a little bit of a slowpoke. <clears throat> but I've been tr uh, trying to diamond paint a little bit every day. If I don't do it in the morning, I do it at night. Just a little bit. And, oh yeah, so let me tell you what happened. Last time I did the whip and chat, I told you guys about my sister, that she rescued two dogs. And um, they've been fighting lately. And when I tell you fighting, I mean, there was blood. That's how bad it was. And Olivia started crying. My, my sister was all stressed out. So we finally tell her, told my, I told my sister, what you need is a trainer. So she did get the trainer. And the trainer uh, showed up on this Saturday. So I said, hey, tell me what's going on. What did the trainer say? So the trainer came and I guess observed the two dogs interacting with the family and she basically said that for now she's got to separate the dogs where everybody's at work or at school and then when they get home they have to uh, sort of uh, sit down with the dogs and train them for like five minutes per day five to ten minutes per day you know teaching them we also with treats of course and I don't think they ever train them so that's perfect and what else? Oh, and the, uh, the vet also said to try calming treats. Don't know what kind of calming treats, but that's what she said, calming treats. So she had to go to the uh, pet store and get some uh, calming treats. And also she got, um, which I had never heard of, they're plugins. You get them at the pet store and they're calming uh, plugins. And we can't smell them. Humans cannot smell them, but dogs can smell it. And it's supposed to calm them down. Do you believe that? Have you guys heard of that? I haven't. Oh, this is a little bit. All right, so far we've got 11. Yay! Okay, 780 is next. Yep, 780. I think I ordered more of these. Oh, this one. It hasn't arrived yet. I can't remember, but I might. I think it was this one. But I might need more of these. On Amazon. Okay, 780. So she said it was, uh, they did that for a couple of days and everything was fine. Then by, I don't know, then of course, Sophie started growling. She got a little jealous. And um, she said it didn't happen when uh, her daughter was there, Olivia, and her husband. It was when she was by herself. That's interesting, right? She needs to tell that to the doctor, to the uh, trainer. But anyway, so I told her, hey, when, when they, when they, as soon as they look like they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna get into a fight or one of them starts growling, you need to go, Psh! you know, like sort of wake her up, you know, because they're focused on that. So it distracts them. Oh my gosh. Did you see that, guys? This one has, oh, Lord of mercy. This one has, look at this. That's never, ever happened. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It has static. Major. Oh my, oh my. Let's put those back in there. Let's see if I can put them back in here. I'm gonna need some of those, uh, people say to cut, uh, what is it, not fabric softener. You know those little cloths that you use? I'm gonna have to try that, or a baby powder. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Jeez. Gee wheeze. All right, you know what? I'm gonna leave those there. I'll clear that later. 
was in there. Okay. That's never happened, guys. That's weird. All right. 782. I mean, I've heard people say that it has happened to them, but not it hasn't happened to me. I've been fortunate until right now. All right. 782. Come on. And of course, I ran out of. Oh, no. That's not true. I've got two more little ones here. So let's work on that one. So yeah, I didn't even ask her how much the trainer costs. I'm sure it was an arm and a leg. Because they are not cheap. But she should have listened to my, my daughter. Because my daughter knows a lot about animals. And my daughter actually told her everything that the vet told her. Well, not the vet, the trainer. That's exactly what my daughter told her. But that could have been I told you so moment. But I did it, guys. I was pretty good. Yep. Yeah. Okay, 783. And of course, because due to the ice, schools are closed, everything is closed. <laughs> and uh, so Olivia's home and my sister tells me that she's got three other friends over. So my sister's trying to work and Olivia and three other friends. So she's got basically four girls in the house screaming and having fun running around. All right, let's get that there. So yeah, but this is garbage. <clears throat> and then of course I did tell you guys that my daughter uh, last week had a sinus, a really, really bad sinus infection. So she got some antibiotics. She also got a shot, that's how bad it was. And then on Sunday, she calls me up and she uh, tells me, guess what mommy? I guess because she has so much pressure and blowing in her nose also that she was like, I cannot hear for one ear. So she was worried that she had water in her ear. But I said, no, that's just from the blowing your nose so much and all that pressure and all that mucus. So these are pretty big guys, but I don't have any more of the small ones. But that's okay. Anyway, so that's it, guys. That's about it. What I do have is a happy funny story before I leave and this one is titled railroad worker rescues a raccoon after the hair of its bottom gets frozen to the tracks 823 yeah so a man a worker a rail a railroad oh my god a railroad worker his name is Neil and he was out on the job when he came across a poor little guy, a raccoon. And the, uh, and the raccoon, the traumatized, it was traumatized, can you imagine? And it was 10 degrees outside, so it was freezing. So the traumatized um, raccoon was eventually rescued after a five minute operation between him and his friend. And um, so what they did was that the guy poured uh, warm water under <laughs> under the raccoon's bottom while his co-worker uh, used the shovel so he worked with the shovel under the raccoon's bottom uh, to try and break him loose and after five minutes of slowly working I'm surprised the raccoon didn't bite them um, I guess the raccoon they, 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 were, they, were, they were there to help him so after five minutes of slowly working uh, him loose, I mean, yeah, he was free. He let him loose. He was able to, able to do that. And he was so happy, he jumped off the rail and ran in the woods, however, never looking back. <laughs> so they were trying to figure out how did this, this happen? So they think that maybe the raccoon just basically was just trying to cross the, the uh, track and maybe decided to sit down for a while because, you know, he had a busy long day. And he sat there for too long. When he tried to get, when he tried to move, he couldn't because he got stuck. So they actually said that there was um, some hair. After the raccoon was free, there was all some hair stuck to the, to the tracks. The poor little guy. But there's always good people in this world, guys. And they help the little raccoon. This is all garbage. 
okay so I'm almost finished okay guys I believe I'm finished so Lady Creole by Mandy Manzano for the uh, DP um, hashtag DP for Black History Month okay and uh, as you can see here they are let me move this back to my easel so you can see all right so have a wonderful rest of the day and I just want to say thank you uh, everyone and also my friend keeps telling me that I need to tell everyone after I finish a video please subscribe <laughs> I always forget anyway thank you very much guys have a have a wonderful rest of the day bye bye